Summary of Keep Going The Art of Perseverance By Joseph M. Marshall III Why is life so difficult? A young man named Jeremy was in agony over the death of his father. His turmoil caused him to question his beliefs. His search for answers brought him to his grandfather, Old Hawk, a Lakota Native American elder. He respected his grandfather's wisdom, knowledge and strength. When he joined the old man in the shade of a cottonwood tree, he cried out in grief and confusion, Grandpa, why is life so difficult? Old Hawk carefully considered the question and said, In life, there is sadness as well as joy, losing as well as winning, falling as well as standing, hunger as well as plenty, badness as well as goodness. I do not say this to make you despair, but to teach you reality. If there were no darkness, how could you enjoy the light? If you never experienced sadness, could you truly appreciate times of joy? Without death, would humans have the capacity to embrace and be grateful for life? The key is to find the balance. Remember that one emotion does not cancel out the other. The reality of joy does not eliminate the possibility of sadness. Although there always will be difficult times, the bad times also offer several gifts, surviving, learning and becoming stronger. You can't wish away bad times. But, just as sunshine dries the rain, you have the ability to carry on. Love conquers hate, selflessness can overcome greed, and honesty can triumph over deceit. Two Travelers Jeremy asked his grandfather why he never seemed afraid. Old Hawk replied by telling a story, two men went on a journey. In the beginning, the road was clear and frequented by many other travelers. They easily found inns. Soon, however, they came upon a forest. One of the men was afraid to enter the dark woods, believing he was easy prey for thieves or wild beasts. His friend encouraged him to face his fears, but he refused to enter the shadows. His friend made the rest of the journey on his own. Jeremy understood the message of his grandfather's story. It is better to face your fears than to curtail your journey. Long Walker You are born with the instinct to start your life's journey. First you sit up, then you crawl and take your first steps. But life is hard, and you experience disappointment, failure, fatigue and uncertainty. Sometimes, these encounters make it difficult to continue your journey. Remember the story of Long Walker, a small village in Missouri was overcome with sickness brought to town by a white fur trader. The village elders asked Red Leaf, one of the few remaining healthy men, to travel to another village and procure the necessary medicine. Red Leaf traveled through snow and cold, but he made it to the village and obtained the medicine. On his return trip, he ran into a blizzard. He struggled to take each step. Many times he fell, but he rose again. He was cold, hungry and overcome with weariness. Yet, each time he fell, he decided to take one more step. Eventually, he made it back to his village and delivered the medicine. From that time forward, his people called him Long Walker. Long Walker taught us that it is better to go until you cannot, which is better than quitting when you know you have the strength for one more step. Compassion versus Arrogance Many people measure their worth and success by the abundance of their possessions. However, the pursuit of wealth is never as important as what you do with your time, and whether you are loving, kind and generous. Sometimes, those who have attained wealth feel that they deserve it more than others do. This arrogance is particularly insidious, because it robs the believer of compassion, and makes him or her feel that less fortunate people deserve their fate. Effort plus pain equals strength. As the wind blew through the leaves of the cottonwood tree, Old Hawk began speaking, Life gives and life takes. Life takes our time, and every day is one day closer to the end of our journey on this earth. It takes our efforts, our sweat, our best intentions, our noblest ideals, dreams and sacrifices, and still demands more. Then it throws obstacles in our path, surprises, disappointments, indifference, confusion, doubts and heartaches. Then Old Hawk told a story that Jeremy's father had liked to tell, there once was a remote village nestled in the valley of several mountains. Most people born in this village were content to live their entire lives there, but occasionally a young person craved to see the outside world. The villagers did not discourage the would-be travelers. 
Instead, they encouraged them to climb the steep path up the mountain that led to the closest bus stop. The climb was long and difficult. Not every young person made it to the top. But, if they did, they were rewarded, over the gate at the top of the path were the words, strength is the child of effort and pain. Facing the storm. Good is good, and bad can also be good. Old Hawk attempted to explain this paradox to Jeremy. Hard times are part of life. Trying to avoid or deny bad times is fruitless. Instead, face every experience, good or bad, head on. Surviving the bad times will ultimately make you stronger. When you need to cry, you should do so. When you need to grieve, you should do so. These emotions are not signs of weakness. They help you find balance. Old Hawk then revealed something new to Jeremy, he and Jeremy's grandmother had lost a child before Jeremy's mother was born. It was a terrible thing to bear, but Old Hawk and his wife drew comfort and strength from each other. They survived and they learned, standing up to the storm, no matter how many times it blows us down, should teach us that we don't need to be as powerful as the storm to defy it. We only need to be strong enough to stand. One more step. What is it that defeats us? Jeremy asked his grandfather. Weariness will defeat us, replied Old Hawk. Then he told another story, a young woman had three suitors, but could not make up her mind among them, so her father devised a contest. He asked each young man to run up and down a steep slope seven times. Each suitor tackled the task, finally collapsing at the bottom of the slope, his energy spent. Then the father said, run up and down one more time. Two of the young men angrily refused. The third made an attempt, but fell on his face after his first step. All three suitors thought they had failed. But the father chose the third man as a husband for his daughter. He believed that it wasn't important that the young man took a step and fell, but it was important that he was willing to take the step. Hope conquers despair. Old Hawk explained to Jeremy that there is one emotion as powerful as grief, despair. Despair, or the absence of hope, is a weight on the soul. Then, Old Hawk recounted a tale of two young men, two brothers traveled a great distance in search of the rare and precious black stone that the people of their nation used to make knives and arrowheads. After a long and grueling trip, they found the stone and packed their bags full of the valuable rock. But misfortune marred their way home. First, a bear chased them. Then, members of an enemy tribe tried to capture them. The weather also worked against them. After many days, the older brother became frightened. He was convinced that a large, dark force was following them. The two brothers fled as quickly as their tired bodies would take them. This went on for days. Finally, the younger brother looked back and saw a ghostly dark shape. He stood up to the shape and threw the stones at it. Slowly, it disappeared. When the brothers returned to their village, an elder explained to them that despair had been dogging their footsteps. Despair may dwell within us, said the elder, but so does hope, the way to defeat it. You learned that hope can defeat despair. That is the true reward. Jeremy's father. Old Hawk spoke of Jeremy's father and the courage he showed as he faced death. Even as Jeremy's father grew weak from the disease that racked his body, he made a promise to Jeremy's mother. He vowed to stay alive until their anniversary four months hence. He kept this promise, even though he had to endure great pain. In this final act, Jeremy's father showed what it meant to make an effort. He showed us how to be strong, no matter how weak we are or think we are, said Old Hawk. Sometimes, people think that a small effort is worthless. However, the lack of effort is an admission of defeat. You always must take one more step, regardless of how small or seemingly insignificant it is, to continue your journey. Keep going. Examples of determination surround us in nature. A river flows continuously, never yielding to obstacles in its path. The seasons follow one another, year after year. Life never stops. Each individual must continue his or her journey. With this sentiment in mind, Old Hawk told Jeremy one remaining story, there once was a village surrounded by steep, high mountains. One adventurous young man scaled the highest peak and saw an awe-inspiring view. His village and the valley sprawled before him in beauty and splendor. 
he returned to his people and told them about his experience. But the mountain was too steep and treacherous for most of the villagers to climb. Then, the stonemason had an idea. He began to carve steps into the side of the mountain. He carved steps every day, year after year. At the end of his life, he had completed only a few steps. Another stonemason continued his work. This went on for several generations. Finally, the last in a long line of stonemasons completed the daunting task. The mayor selected two strong, young men to make the first climb. As they ascended, they noticed something fascinating and inspiring. At the base of each step, two words were carved. Keep going. Perseverance will overcome or outlast many obstacles. If you understand life, you understand death. Jeremy asked his grandfather one last question, will I ever understand life and death the way you do? Old Hawk reassured Jeremy that this understanding came with experience. He cautioned Jeremy not to judge others by their deaths, but to instead consider how they lived. Your father was a good man, he lived a good life, said Old Hawk. You should not waste effort on anger over the way he died, celebrate the way he lived instead. That is his legacy, not the manner of his death. Life speaks to you and when it does, it says, keep going.